Welcome everyone. My name is Kimberly Stokes and will be your host for today's client webinar. I want to welcome you, excuse me, I want to welcome our special guest speakers, Ayush Sharan from CSG and Jamie Sarois from HP, along with our experts from Bluecrest, Kevin Marks, John Klein, Steve Coburn, and John Chapman. Before we begin, I just want to go over a couple housekeeping items. Every attendee is in listen-only mode. For questions to our panelists, please type those into the Q&A panel. And at the end of the session, we will read and answer those questions directly. If you have any technical questions for the host, please type those into the chat panel so that I can assist you. And lastly, please note that this webinar will be recorded for quality purposes. We want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us. And with that said, I'm turning the session over to Kevin Marks. Thank you, Kimberly, and good afternoon. Uh, welcome to today's Bluecrest, Bluecrest webinar titled Inkjet 2.0, Driving Better Business Results Through Innovations in End-to-End -end Print and Mail Production. Over the course of the next 45 minutes or so, we'll begin by uh, identifying the value to clients of a fully integrated print and mail production process. Second, we'll hear from a client who has selected Bluecrest to harness this concept of fully integrated print mail uh, as an end-to-end -end process. We'll uh, learn more from uh, our client about how they have selected Bluecrest workflow, production inkjet, as well as mail finishing systems. Third, we'll learn about the latest innovations in the inkjet print technology uh, portfolio. And finally, we'll close with uh, uh, discovering how data system automation and best practices can deliver on the full value of inkjet 3 uh, 2.0 and, and mindful that uh, we'll use the chat uh, as uh, kimberly identified for to receive your questions uh, and um, hope to make it an interactive process now today's presenters um, that will deliver this content in support of media objectives are as follows uh, collectively they represent over 125 years of print and mail experience. And we'll just suggest to you this is experience that you can harness in supporting your own journey toward uh, tightly integrated end-to-end -end workflow processes. Our theme for today is really about best practices. And you'll hear concepts throughout the presentation content to suggest that there is a strong case for building this tightly integrated print and mail operation. And secondly, and importantly, we'll help you understand how Bluecrest as a company can deliver on the full potential of Inkjet 2.0. Now, as we looked at our audience today, uh, we find that uh, our members broadly fit into two categories. First is a community of in-plan operations. Uh, they represent vertical markets, including insurance, banking, healthcare, and payroll. The second community assembled in our audience today are service bureaus. And uh, those are transactional service bureaus that support the same vertical markets that uh, our implant members represent. We'll try to tailor our conversations in terms of the value that we can create for both. But it's clear that driving efficiency, improving regulatory compliance, and developing more impactful communication are important to our implant operations. And equally important for our transaction service bureaus, identification ways to drive increased productivity through automation, labor work cell optimization, and end-to-end -end tracking and reporting. So these are the same themes that we've heard as we work with clients across the globe. We'll try to identify what that can mean to each of you today. Now, independent of which company or you align yourself most closely with, I think we could all agree as a group that producing content critical communications, it's complex. We know that each shift, each day, and each period requires mastering all of these multiple steps. And the cost of an error, both in terms of operational costs and regulatory risk, can be exorbitant. Said differently, our organization and our operations really is good, are only as good as the operational performance that we drove this last year. And that was before we considered all the headwinds associated with COVID. So in light of this, we as a company have built an entire business around helping clients and helping clients to deliver better business results through a tightly integrated end-to-end -end process that considers each step of this process and not just optimizes the step as it to itself, but optimizes across the steps of the manufacturing process. 
So let's consider the first phase of this, and that is the, uh, the phase of document composition integration. And uh, as a business, uh, we have tools that can help you with any print stream to manage this process. Yeah. Second, we have to deal with clients uh, as they report to us that not only do they have to onboard new documents, but they also have to deal with legacy documents and they cannot afford the scripting and complexity associated with that. So we have solution sets there. The next phase is output management. And each day, Bluecrest products uh, help clients to manage this step of the process. The next step to consider is the print production phase. And in this area, uh, we can unlock the full potential for inkjet printing. And today we'll identify the newest innovations in this category. The next phase is this important phase uh, that's adjacent to print, and that is integrated print and mail finishing. And this process step is where we have earned this respect of clients across the globe. And like the print category, uh, the, the mail finishing category is a continuous source of innovation and breakthrough technology for Bluecrest. Postal monopolization is an important area because postal spend represents one of the largest areas of spend for our clients. So we can help as a body of knowledge to optimize this spend. And while you, some companies will choose to optimize this upstream, other clients we've helped with sortation solutions uh, that are in line and integrated to the phases of the uh, manufacturing process. And the final step is that of postal delivery. So it's a complex business as we all know. It's not just enough to deliver defect-free materials, but the simple requirement is to manage that of uh, across each of those steps of defect-free material generation, but also providing visibility both through and across the mail stream. And this is again where our end users are driving and we're developing solutions that can support that. So depicted as an end-to-end -end process, what we've learned for clients is optimization at any single step is not enough. We need to optimize both within the step and across in, in to and across these steps to deliver the full promise of integrated valuable client communication generation. And simply said, our solutions are designed to do just that, unlike the opportunity for better business results, particularly as documents become more complex, service level agreements become more uh, complex in terms of uh, achievement, and the cost of an error uh, is ever present and uh, quite large and expansive. So in order to move from that phase uh, of what we have promised to clients, Let's begin a conversation and learn from a client, um, an Ayush, a Sharon, and John Klein will build uh, an understanding of what clients are doing and CSU is doing and harnessing the power of integrated print mail operations. Ayush. All right. Hey, good morning, everyone. I uh, hope I'm coming in uh, through here. So um, definitely looking forward to, um, you know, um, letting you guys uh, uh, Keep providing more insight to you guys about you know how Bluecrest partners with us uh, in various stages of the um, of the workflow uh, that Kevin was just going over. Uh, just to start start out though a little bit about CSG. Um, so we are um, one of the the ten largest first class mailers in the United States. Uh, we are primarily focused uh, on transactional communications uh, and we process them in highly secure and regulated environments. Um, CSG um, delivers over 80 million uh, printed communications um, each month. Uh, we reach over uh, a quarter of all U.S. households, so about 25% of, of U.S. Uh, households. Um, and we do it with a customer accuracy rate of 99.97%. Uh, uh, and we are primarily uh, serving customers within the telecommunications, um, insurance, uh, government, and uh, healthcare spaces. And as far as uh, uh, my role goes, um, so guys, I'm a senior manager uh, within CSG. I'm located um, in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, my responsibilities include uh, developing um, and leading strategic initiatives, um, you know, to drive all things process improvement. Um, I have responsibilities for industrial engineering, uh, training and audit, uh, forecasting and capacity planning, uh, and of course, integration um, across our four uh, North American print and mail operation centers. Great, Ayush. Um, thanks and welcome. Thank you so much for spending the time. Uh, uh, my name is John Klein. I've been with uh, Blue Crest slash Pitney Bowes DMT for 26 years working in uh, 
working in many areas related to engineering, service support, sales, uh, manufacturing, et cetera. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, I've been working with Ayush and the CSG team for many years, many of those years, um, seeing them grow from uh, you know, a very early adopter of new inserting technology to software to, uh, to print and to, uh, to a very um, uh, sophisticated uh, workflow that I think has uh, generated a lot of value for both CSG and for, um, and for uh, Bluecrest. And look forward to many more years of, of support and success for, uh, for CSG. And I apologize, it looks like we're having some problems with our uh, presentation. So uh, um, please, as they say, ignore the person behind the screen. Um, I, will, I will start out with a couple of, uh, with, with several questions that um, my partner Ayush will be helping respond to. Hopefully these will be insightful, I, I, I believe they will be as it relates to our partnership and the value that together we bring the industry. Um, you know, one of the, one of the key components of the, um, of our solution is to guarantee and continue the, the, the future proofing of what we do as an industry, as I'm sure a lot of you on the, uh, on this WebEx are interested in understanding. So, uh, so Ayush has a, um, and one of, one of the value propositions that we uh, that we uh, believe from a Blue Crest perspective we bring to our clients is a, a single solution provider um, across all solution sets, um, software, hardware, print, you know, and that includes print, uh, mail finishing, uh, process simplification, data, et cetera. Uh, can you give me some insight how, how, how you feel about that single provider capability? Um, sure. Thanks for the question, John. Um, you know, as a single solution provider, um, I feel uh, that there's, there's, there's plenty of uh, synergies uh, that we gain with partnering with, with Bluecrest, right? Um, they understand our workflow um, across print and mail finishing. Um, and, you know, that has helped us in, in many different uh, scenarios. Um, I, I, when I think about it, right, the biggest of all is that it has positioned both the organizations, CSG, um, and Bluecrest to partner across all aspects of production, right? Um, our Bluecrest partners, um, uh, you know, through the on-site support that we have uh, through their service organization, um, as well as the, uh, you know, the off-site support and the professional services that Bluecrest provides, uh, you know, they play a key role uh, in, in, in highlighting the dependencies um, across those various stages of the workflows. Um, and, you know, help us understand how print impacts inserting and inserting impacts uh, print. Um, but, you know, they also help us and partner with us in solutioning for those, uh, for those challenges. So we, we use Bluecrest, CSG definitely uses Bluecrest as a partner through the various stages, if you will, uh, of problem solving, right, straight from problem identification um, to brainstorming with us and trying and helping us understand um, what that looks like and from a solution perspective, lay out some options for us, uh, but then also help us through the implementation. So, uh, you know, we consult Bluecrest for um, onboarding new customers, um, our standardization efforts uh, that we have to reduce, uh, you know, operational expenses, any overheads that we have, um, and the list goes on and on. Great, great, thanks, thanks for that. Um, I so you're you're a uh, uh, you're a new user of some of our newest technology on the print side. Uh, how has the IntelliJet 20 iDef HD print systems benefited uh, benefited CSG? Um, so when I think about that, um, you know, I think migrating. Uh, we have been longtime users of the inkjet um, technology. Um, you know, upgrading to these intelligent intelligent 20 systems have been, um, have, have, have served us quite well. Um, uh, first and foremost, when I think about productivity gains, uh, we, we have seen, we have seen uh, an, an uptick in our uh, equipment uh, runtime, if you will. Um, one example of that is, uh, you know, the, the offline ink barrels, when I think of it, right? We do not stop, uh, you know, these intelligent 20 beasts, if you will, 
um, anymore, uh, you know, unless we ha we run out of paper, right? Which again, at 500 feet per minute is, you know, it, re it eats a roll of paper pretty fast. Um, so our downtime associated with that has, has gone down to almost zero. Um, and we have seen uh, as high as a 10% productivity gain in uh, equipment uptime um, across these systems. And, and secondarily, when I think about um, these systems, I think about the print output quality um, that we that we get from from these systems. Um, you know, our reruns due to print quality have um, uh, have reduced uh, significantly. Uh, and further, we have eliminated uh, the need for inline inspections. Uh, you know, which helps us free up some additional resources. Um, um, as we migrated to these systems. Uh, the other thing that Bluecrest helped us um, with was transitioning to, uh, you know, continuous um, output. So roll to roll as, as some of you may, may know it as, uh, and they helped us transition to roll to roll and, and pinless inserting. And, you know, there were significant cost savings uh, to our bottom line. Uh, and obviously they help improve uh, productivity in, in both printing as well as inserting areas. Great, thanks. I, I, um, I remember a lot of those transitions as we move through the journey um, mm -hmm. from, you know, fan fold and sheet bed and, and all the things that you guys had to manage, small jobs, the, the ability to big, to build, uh, uh, to build big, big jobs from small jobs has been a, a, a right. very key success criteria for the workflow, obviously. Um, as, as you think about the, the IntelliJet systems and, you know, uh, you, you mentioned all the things related to uh, efficiencies and capabilities that you can now enjoy and improvement in production and, and reduction in cost. Has there been any other, uh, I'll call it, surprise benefits relative to opportunities that you can share uh, with your existing clients? Has is, is there been anything that, that sticks out as it relates to the ability to help your clients directly? Um, you, you know, of course, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the connection is, uh, is, is obvious, right? So increased capacity, um, as well as the increased, um, you know, runtime or uptime, you know, has provided us with the ability to, um, you know, onboard additional volume uh, for some of our existing customers and, you know, also win some new opportunities. Um, you know, in that we can now handle our volume spikes uh, a lot easier than we, we had the capability to do that in the past, right? Um, we have also uh, partnered with, with, with our Blue Crush partners, um, right, to understand, uh, you know, what are our best practices around color management to increase our print quality. And that bodes well to our customers. And, you know, we are able to manipulate uh, that through multiple pathways. Um, um, and, you know, that gives us just the edge when we go in front of our uh, existing customers, as well as when we, when we are, you know, hunting and farming for new opportunities. Great, great. That's, um, uh, I think that's something that we, uh, we all hope happens in this, uh, in our industry, mm -hmm. is generate more opportunity, create the, create the, uh, the new world, if you will, and, and, and be more, be more flexible to allow our clients to have more ways to message and more valuable ways to message. Um, we're, we're competing with a lot of different media these days, as we all know, and print still is very important. I think some clients cherish it more than others. And if you've got technology and workflows that make a difference, I think you'll end up uh, being more successful in the long run. It sounds like CSG has been able to achieve that. Absolutely. Absolutely, John. So, I mean, one thing I would, I would add there is, um, you know, uh, a, a printed document is, is, an, is something that's very near and dear to our customers uh, because, you know, it's a physical piece of evidence that, that their subscribers or their customers hold, can hold uh, in their hands. And, uh, you know, once, once printed, they, they want the best quality on that piece of paper. So um, I think migrating again to these IntelliJ uh, 20 systems have positioned us really well uh, for those conversations that we want to have with our customers. So, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it served us really well again. Great. Great. Um, so, you know, the next question I want to uh, ask is, is around, um, is there is something near and dear to my heart, which is around metrics. Um, I know you mentioned earlier that, you know, there's benefit and, and capacity and, 
and uh, cost reduction and, and SLA management, et cetera. But um, one of the things uh, we worked together even before, um, this is years before uh, we started down the print path with you, uh, was being more of a metric driven organization, focusing on data to allow us to understand where our gaps are, where our opportunities are for both parties, by the way, right. it wasn't just um, a one sided here. So we all learned from the metric process. Can you talk a little bit about how, how that, how, how that journey is going and, and, um, and how do you see things continuing in that, in that space? Sure, John. I, I, f I feel like you stole my line there because metrics is very near and dear to my heart as well. Um, I'm an industrial engineer by education. So, you know, I, 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 I take metrics quite seriously. Um, and then, you know, this is something that I think I feel like Bluecrest adds a, a tremendous amount of value, right? Uh, they've helped us evolve. They've helped CSG's understanding uh, and use of the equipment metrics, uh, you know, both on, on the inserters, uh, the mail finishing, as well as the printer side. Um, you know, when I think about equipment metrics, you're, you're, you want to understand, you know, how can you drive uh, more output through increasing your uh, equipment as well as your operator efficiency. And, and Bluecrest has, uh, has has helped us, you know, uh, with that quite a bit. Um, you know, we with, with, with our continued partnership, you know, we now have pretty robust KPIs, uh, if I can say it that way, uh, in place that we use to, you know, monitor, review, and report on, on, on a very regular cadence. Um, um, you know, we have baseline set that we constantly strive to meet or beat. Uh, you know, again through through a, through a constant feedback and partnership loop, right? Uh, we come up with suggestions. We we use our Bluecrest partners to get those out, and vice versa. So it's 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 truly a um, you know I feel like continuous improvement is definitely the uh, the essence of our alliance, if you will. Um, uh, just to add to that, um, we are actually currently doing a beta trial. We're running a beta trial uh, for a new data collection and reporting tool uh, on the IJ platforms, uh, which is uh, you know going to look very similar and feel very similar to what we're used to seeing on the inserting side, uh, which some of you may be familiar with uh, as as DirectView. Uh, again, you know it's at, like DirectView, the tools aimed at collecting you know equipment and operator performance metrics. And you know it, it, it should help us uh, and assist us in improving our efficiencies, you know, reducing operational costs, all that good stuff. Uh, but then again, creating a more robust uh, data-driven decision-making um, capability, it would give that to us um, at the end. So, great, thanks. Um, uh, good. Um, I, I think one of the other things that uh, I want to uh, touch on from a question perspective is really. Uh, something that I think I get asked a lot when I visit clients is, how's it going with Bluecrest? You know, right? We're, we, we were part of a uh, multi-billion dollar company at one point. Now we're, now we're uh, part of a, a private equity organization that is, um, uh, that, is, that is managing us into the future. Mm -hmm. um, so it, just, just some feedback from your perspective and from CSG's perspective on, has anything changed? Uh, how's our how's our new standalone company performing in your view? Right. So if I had to answer that question in one word, I would say none. Right. We have seen no changes. Um, um, you know, there's been no change since uh, you guys became uh, Bluecrest. Uh, you know, from from your previous uh, name. Um, right. Uh, just to elaborate on that a little bit, I would say right that, and I'm not proud of it, but I I talk to my Bluecrest partners more than my inter members most days right so uh, the, the partnership and the support from a be it from a service standpoint you know application support standpoint uh, equipment you know whether it's print or inserting um, you know none of that has changed from you know the previous regime to the to, to this new right um, you guys have earned our respect as partners and we 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 saw the transition from again, from the last regime to, to now that you guys are Bluecrest, um, right? Um, not only to solve existing business problems around efficiency, standardization, the, the few examples that I gave earlier, uh, but also help us evaluate new business opportunities, right? We, 
we we profoundly rely on you know what's now Bluecrest uh, expertise to solution for our um, RFPs, RFIs. You know when we are looking at new industry verticals, yeah, they have helped us solution for new business uh, in multiple instances. Um, none of that has changed from from then to now. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I, uh, that's the end of my uh, questions for today. I would, as you know, I wish I could probably continue discussing both <laughs> now and the future with you, as I always have in the past. Yep. So I, I truly appreciate our partnership. Um, I want to thank you for the minute, a uh, few minutes you've been able to spend with us and and share your thoughts and views on on where we're heading together as a, as a part and, you know, in partnership and um, wish you all the best and, and uh, we'll always, you know, we'll always be working together. So thanks again for spending the time with us. Absolutely, John. And again, thank you so much uh, for, you know, letting me, you know, kind of share what I have uh, as my thoughts, but uh, truly CSG has gotten where it has uh, through, through your, through, through Bluecrest continued partnership uh, in, in all aspects, if you will. Uh, so we we have a, we appreciate the partnership and alliance so far, and we look forward to uh, many more years uh, of evolution with you guys. Great, hey Kevin, turning it back to you. I mean, you, well, thank got, you, John. you got a hell of a you got a hell of a thing to <laughs> try and beat that. For... Uh, you can't. We won't even try. We'll just try to be in, near to that. So I use right. again, John. Right. Thank you. Uh, and let's uh, let's continue our, our discussion and really harnessing some of the specific areas that. Ayush has touched on. And one of the areas that we'd like to focus on next is uh, the category and in innovations in the print space. So on our next slide, we'll begin to examine a little deeper um, uh, the concept of using Bluecrest printing products, more specifically intelligent family of uh, inkjet printing systems to drive more results uh, across their platforms. So our next slide talks about that family of printing devices. And, and as uh, Ayush has alluded to, um, uh, we use this full family of products to harness uh, the, the transactional uh, segment requirements that we think are important to clients uh, that are represented in our audience today. Uh, and, and equally important, it, you heard from a use the idea of harnessing the interaction between the printing systems and the mail finishing systems is critical. And as we do that, we create lots of value. Now, our portfolio is represented on the screen is broad and deep. Uh, we have format solutions for one across, two across, three and four across. And what's common is the ability to harness the full power of breakthrough industry leadership in print quality. And not only the intersection of quality, but speeds. In fact, some of our printing systems produce up to a thousand feet per minute of high quality, four color printing, four over four printing. So that's the full tool toolkit of our production print portfolio. And across these types of systems, our systems in place with clients in the transactional space, both in North America and across the globe, produce well over 1.5 billion, billion impressions per month. Wow. So we wake up in the morning and go to sleep at night thinking about high volume, no compromise, print and mail finish the systems. And to dig in deeper into this category, and more specifically, the intelligent-based uh, systems uh, that we harness the power of HP, our global partner. Let's uh, introduce Jamie uh, to talk more about the innovations from HP. Awesome, great, thank you so much. I appreciate the time today, guys. So my name is Jamie Sarais, and I am the PageWide Web Press, which is the HP name for the Intelligent 20 that we partner with Bluecrest around, uh, category business manager. And I always um, mentioned the little bit of background of what that role means, because it'll kind of help me tell the story of inkjet, production inkjet at HP. So in this role, I have two important jobs. I am the person that makes sure the business is operating properly, the good old P&L, right? So I evaluate opportunities and, and work through pricing and all those kind of fun things. But actually the part of my job that I really enjoy the most is the product management role, if you will. And that's where I get to be the liaison between my region, and for me that's the Americas, and our worldwide, what we call GBU, Global Business Unit. And I only mention that because I get to be the voice of the customer. And that's really important as I go 
go through the next few slides and talk about the innovations in production inkjet at HP, because I want you to understand that we do listen to our customers. This is really important to us, and Bluegrass has been a fantastic partner with us, and many of you on the line I know have, have worked with us in the past, and I hope that comes through, that we value your partnership, we value that connection we have together, and we are listening to our customers. So Kevin asked me to speak a little bit about the latest innovations from our perspective in production inkjet. And typically we start with hardware and talk about the new press and the latest greatest feeds, speeds and feeds. But I'm gonna start a little different today and talk about ink. Because in this case, it really is all about the ink. And the things I'm gonna share with you are things that we are hearing from our customers that they need to be more successful in this space. So we have formulated with our brilliant engineers a new ink called HP Brilliant Ink. And there's really two main things that this ink formulation, this new custom ink formulation gives us. One is an extended color gamut. So we're able to reach deeper into those reds and those secondary colors um, like blues and, and greens, for example. Now, this may not be an important thing to some of your everyday uh, applications, but think about it. If you're able to make sure you have that richer red, though it'll stand out on that transaction statement that that item might need attention right away. That's important. Or maybe you're trying to grab that logo that's a blue or purple color, right? So really just want to make sure that you have the fullest capabilities in terms of color gamut with our presses, with our new Brilliant Inks. And the second thing that our customers have said to us is we would love to see a higher gloss level in our prints. So now with the new HP Brilliant Inks, we're able to match or exceed the gloss levels of the sheet itself. Now, again, maybe not the most important thing in the everyday business, but think again, look at how that logo might pop or something on that screen might catch the attention of your customer uh, versus just throwing that last piece of paper in the trash, right, or the recycle bin, hopefully. So not only did our engineers come up with this great new ink formulation that answered some of the requests our customers had been asking for, they created a, another fluid. They created a third component, and that's called the HP Optimizer. And I lovingly call this the secret sauce, sauce <laughs> or the great equalizer, because this gives us the ability to really control and print on offset media directly. In the past, we were able to print on offset media by utilizing a primer flood code. But this new digital solution is a dot for dot placement and you have the ability to adjust it based on your, your needs, application and media type. So again, opening up a media versatility for you on this press. This next slide goes into a little bit more detail about when you would utilize the HP optimizer or not. But basically you can see if you're utilizing inkjet media, you just use the ink directly, the new HP Brilliant inks, just like today on our other T200, 300, 400 series. But on the, uh, with the new Brilliant ink, you have the ability to um, utilize a HP Optimizer in different levels for offset media, either uncoated or coded. So just opening up more options for you as a customer. So I will <laughs> now move from ink to the hardware itself, and I'd like to play, uh, I call it the sizzle video, if you will, that showcases some of the key features and benefits of our new T250 uh, HD. But before I do that, let me just make one quick reminder. We have all this new press advances, all these new ink advances and fluid advances, but we've done it all without compromise to our sustainability focus at HP. We have industry leading VOCs, we have no hazardous air pollutants, um, it's, the material's non flammable, um, it's non combustible, and it's water based. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing all the things we, our customers ask for without losing that focus on the environmental impact. So let me jump over to the video and play that for us. You can learn more about the new press. And team, I'm not hearing the audio on the video. So there's some amazing <laughs> music that typically goes along with this, but hopefully the, the video itself can help you understand more about the press.
So what you saw there is kind of the four promises or commitments that we have um, to our customers around our presses and our um, commitment around production inkjet. So let me walk you through a little bit more of those. So again, proud to introduce HP Page Web Web Press, also our Intelligent 20 HD with our partnership at Bluecrest. And this really is built on four key things, offset class quality, proven productivity, unrivaled versatility, and compelling economics. And let me just go through each of these quickly. So around quality, you know, we really have been striving to make sure we have offset class quality. I talked to you a little bit about how with the new Brilliant Inks, we already have those, you know, reaching into those deeper uh, secondary colors, having that colossal high output level. But we also have the HGNA quality print mode. And I'll explain a little bit more about that means in a slide here in a moment, but that's our high definition nozzle architecture. And this has been available since 2016. And it's really when we took our press and we doubled the, the image quality capable by giving a native resolution of 2400 nozzles per inch. So, you know, I, I know sometimes people will go, oh, it's, you know, is quality that important? How do we really need, you know, that level of quality? And I, I often uh, think back to uh, a line I've heard once or twice where people are like, you know, barcodes matter. <laughs> and if you don't have that straight line, that dark, rich black, if you don't have that attention to detail, um, somewhere downstream, that could be an issue for a customer and cards to, you know, scan or down the road, right? So trying to make sure we have quality across all of our applications is important for us. Um, and next one here is around productivity. Um, you know, making sure you can meet tight deadlines with confidence. And I usually had a great job of setting that up for me. Thank you. I, I didn't pay him, I promise. But he did a great job of describing you know, some of the productivity levels that he's seen by moving to one of our production inkjet systems. So, you know, not only are we able to support one up and two up applications um, with our 22 inch one press here, but even greater on the 400 series or the larger series that Kevin mentioned earlier as well. But this push press will do up to 500 feet per minute and we do have the ability to do that in not only a performance mode which is you know fast as possible but a performance hdk mode which allows you to have deeper control over the blacks as well in addition to that, we have upgraded on the Intelligent 20 HD with the Brilliant Inks, uh, the vision system. And I'll explain a little bit more about that. But now we have a true what you see is what you get color vision system. Third thing here, again, our value, our promise to use our customability is being able to print on any category of paper, giving you ultimate flexibility and versatility. Um, this is really important to us because we want our customers to be able to uh, do more than one thing with this press. You know, maybe today you only have one application, but we want to make sure that the press is available for whatever you want to do in the future. Um, you know, and that's enabled by our HP optimizer, which I explained earlier, which allows us to um, print directly and offset um, uncoded or coded medias. That's also being able to give you the flexibility to print multiple applications on one press, not just limited by media, but as far as media support, um, the specs we can manage in terms of media thickness and weights and types and all those kind of things as well. And then last but not least, you know, my joke here, and if anybody's seen me present knows that I always say this, you know, I can give you amazing offset class quality. We can have fantastic uptime. We can give you all the versatility in the world. But if the math doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, right? So at HP, we really have focused on making sure that we have a competitive cost per print that we have one press that can do multiple applications, so you're able to diversify and expand your business. Um, but we also um, want to make sure that you have the tools that you need to make sure that press is operating the best way as possible. And one of those things highlighted there is the Bush Bullet. It says color, ma color Management Suite. And this is a whole series of products that our professional services team has put together to help our customers who want to dial in the color, maybe pull back ink a little bit, but still meet the quality expectation of their customer. And that's real cost savings to our customers. And we have ways to help you do that. But the most important thing I think that we do here is around protecting your initial investment. We do have a fully upgradable platform, no forklift required, right? We let you take something that you have today and, and move it to the latest technology. And that's something we're very proud of and know it's different than some of the other models um, that are in the marketplace today. So I touched quickly on HGNA. So let me just span for one minute more about that. This is, again, high definition nozzle architecture. Um, it is award winning, as the slide says here. But what it really does is give us smooth color and density transitions. It gives us that ability to see shadow details. And it also gives us reliable and consistent color. And that's not just job to job, but press to press. So 
if you've got multiple installations, for example, you have the ability to calibrate and have a closed loop system to have color consistency with fantastic and amazing precision. And that's because we have ultimate control over the dot placement. And this is all built off technology called thermal inkjet technology that HP has owned and invented and developed for the past 30 years. So this is something we are passionate about at HP um, and really want to make sure that we're not only delivering you terms of quality in terms of pleasing quality, colors, and those kind of things, but also on those fine lines and tight text details that might be needed in your application. So moving through here, um, you know, I talked a minute about um, making sure you have productivity levels that make sense, that are the highest level possible. And this is where the new enhanced color vision system uh, plays in. So we've increased our quality monitoring. We've increased we have got new spectrophotometers compared to our previous versions, and it truly is a whizzy gig. What you see is what you get. And the purpose of this is to notify your operator if they see some defect. Maybe there's a print head that needs to be serviced. Maybe something doesn't look and matches the PDF that's coming through it, and it'll flag your operator. And this allows your operator to quickly view what's going on, make adjustments if needed, and keep printing. And I know that's really what you guys are looking to do is keep printing so you can meet your customer's deadline. Third thing I want to highlight here is about versatility. I mentioned this already, but I want to give an example. I do know one of our customers who bought his press, or their press, excuse me, to print transactional statements and like um, statement of benefits it was, or something like that. And, you know, they came to us recently and said, you know, we want to do more of this press. We want to do more than transactional statements. So we actually look through with them with their marketing department and help them develop a plan to move some of their marketing collateral, some of their marketing pieces over to the press itself versus outsourcing it. So again, we want to make sure we have a press that meets all your printing needs, not just what you need to do today, but also tomorrow. And again, one of the ways that we do that, and this is really important, is by and protecting your initial investment. So, so bear with me as we go on a little bit of a, a history lesson here. So back in 2010, we launched our first T200 series. It uh, was met with great success. We did 200 color feet per minute, had a duty cycle monthly of about 30 million pages. Did very well, but a few years later, we were able to double the speed. And so we came out with the T230. Now it's doing 40, 400 color feet per minute, and, you know, with the duty cycle increase. And we made some other small improvements as well, but really the big thing was the speed improvement. And so our customers that invested with us a few years before were able to move forward with us in, in for a fraction of their initial investment upgrade to the latest and greatest technology. Now fast forward a few more years went by and in 2016 we doubled the quality with our announcement of the high definition nozzle architecture. We also made a lot of other upgrades to around dryers and digital front ends and and other things but and again, we were able to bring to about twice the level of quality. And so again, our customers who invested with us initially were able to upgrade to the latest and greatest for a fraction of their initial investment. And now we have this new invest, new announcement with our new T250 or IntelliJet 20 with HP Brilliant Inks, where we've expanded the media capabilities by the HP Op the benefits of HP Optimizer. And Again, our customers who invested with us are going to be able to upgrade for a fraction of their initial investment. And we think that's really important because we're protecting you. We're, we're providing the longevity that you can count on. So, Kevin, that's my last slide. So I'm going to hand it back over to you and remind Excellent. everybody if they have questions to put those in the Q&A at the bottom of the screen. Great. Jamie, thank you very much. Let's continue our journey uh, of uncovering the concept of Inject 2.0 in client value of integ and integrated printing systems. Uh, Steve Colburn, uh, we heard earlier from uh, Ayush from uh, CSG, the power of data and analytics in terms of harnessing and refining a process. This is classic lean manufacturing, classic Sigma. Six Sigma. And uh, let's explore through your uh, uh, slides, Steve. How can direct view for print drive better business results through analytics? Fantastic, Kevin. <clears throat> Excuse me, thank you for, whoop, one, two. Once more, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, first of all, Jamie, great presentation. Um, so excited about, you know, the new developments uh, that continue to come from HP and allow our customers to leverage the power of the HP technology in the IntelliJet 20 uh, HD platform. Um, 
and I think, you know, to that end, you know, it's, it's fantastic to have a printing system that delivers you, you know, optimal print quality. Um, and we really look at quality in two vectors. And I think Jamie touched on it a little bit. It's one is, you know, can you hit that ultimate nth quality for clients that require, you know, offset uh, replacement kind of output. But the other way we look at it is the consistency and the productivity we get out of the system by being um, uh, always in spec and uh, minimizing defects. And once you have that in a print engine, then it allows us to take the next step, which is really to leverage the data we collect um, in the printing process and share that with our clients to allow them to make better business decisions. Um, and those decisions are really built around, you know, optimizing productivity, optimizing efficiency, and also um, looking for opportunities to re reduce cost as well. So I think I used to talk a little bit about um, the Bluecrest Direct View architecture, uh, which is used to support analytics on the, um, in our inserter platform. Uh, and now we've introduced Direct View for Print, which essentially builds on that, um, you know, the architecture of Direct View for the consolidation and aggregation of data. And what we do is we take all this rich um, data we have available on the printing system that is generated both by the printer itself, as well as the IntelliJet Print Process Manager, which is the front end for the printing system. We aggregate all that data um, into the direct view database. And from that, um, clients can use it to really analyze their operation and, and look for insightful data points um, that can help them improve productivity, uh, you know, reduce idle time um, during their printing process, uh, save on ink and paper waste, um, and really get, get better insight overall into uh, elements of waste that may be in their process. Um, discover untapped capacity, you know, as we look at peaks and valleys, is there a way to fill in some of those valleys with uh, additional work um, to, you know, both extend the expense of, of these printing systems and also improve the profitability of them. Um, and then also around consumable usage. Uh, so Kevin, if you could just advance to the next slide, that'd be great. So what are some use cases, uh, you know, we could look at um, with uh, direct view for print? And really this is again about performance and, and cost analysis. You know, one of the things clients can you do is, is really look at um, ink usage changes on a, over a given time interval, either month by month or week by week, or even day to day, if they so choose. And, and where does that offer insight? Suppose, you know, somebody in the production workflow process changed, uh, you know, the, the ICC profile of, of the applications that are running, and now the system is using more ink than was really intended. Uh, it allows you to sort of identify these uh, potential errors early on uh, and save um, cost and waste as you go forward. Has a client made a change to their application that you were unaware of? Um, you know, clients can adjust the design and, and make changes to their applications. And your job is really to receive that data, process it, and print it. Uh, and sometimes, you know, clients include uh, more color coverage, which increases your cost. Um, and is there a way to identify that and try to recapture some of that cost? And then what, the other thing our clients are using this data for is to anticipate um, their consumable usage over time so they can maintain inventory levels that are appropriate to de-risk, um, you know, any interruptions that may occur, uh, but not carrying so much inventory that it becomes a drain on their, on their cash position. And then, you know, there are opportunities to look at um, how the system is being utilized by your operators and your production crew um, to gain insight into why was the printer idle for a period of time during a shift. You know, you think of something as simple as, you know, a lost 10 minutes of productivity um, over a shift, but in a two shift, five day a week operation, um, that accounts to almost 2.7 million feet of lost productivity in a single year. So, 
you really need to be able to look at where you can save uh, minutes because minutes add up to hours and they add up to an opportunity to either add more work into a given shift or, or reduce, um, you know, ad hoc shifts or extra shifts that may impact your overall labor cost. And it allows you to sort of pick out uh, opportunities to have corrective action. Is there a particular shift or an operator who is lower on the productivity scale uh, than other operators? Uh, maybe they need some additional training. Are there jobs that are causing issues? You know, is the same job you run month after month uh, running at a lower productivity rate than other jobs? Maybe there's something about that job that's inducing errors either in the finishing uh, or in the construction of the job itself. And again, obviously, you know, capacity planning uh, and productivity uh, go directly to our bottom line. Um, if there's opportunities to add more work onto a given printing platform, it's really incumbent upon us and our, and our clients to be able to identify those opportunities uh, and increase um, the utilization of the system and thereby increasing the overall profitability uh, of your operation. So from our perspective, um, it's obviously imperative to have a high quality, uh, highly productive printing system. But in the best case, it's married with uh, data analytics that allow you to get better insight into how you're using uh, those systems. Uh, and obviously, um, from a Blue Crest perspective, we don't just look at print in isolation, we look at the overall workflow uh, of, your, of your shop, you know, print, insert, and then obviously upstream into um, application and data management and, and preparation. So to us, Direct View for Print is a natural extension of how we help our clients gain insight. Uh, and we look forward to, uh, you know, helping our clients on that journey to better understanding and increased profitability. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Don Chapman, who's going to talk a little bit about um, how our service uh, organization partners with our clients for success. Don? Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, very interesting uh, uh, on the um, direct view for print. Uh, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to explain to you how Blue Crest Service uh, can partner with you to keep your press uh, optimally running and uh, make your workflows and integrations seamless. Um, let me start that with Bluecrest has an extensive uh, network of service professionals in your local locations that would be servicing you on a day-to-day -day basis, but more importantly, backed up uh, in uh, various places around the U.S., we have a dedicated team of engineers uh, that are dedicated to the print platform that are uh, at the beck and call of the local uh, engineers and yourselves for questions and problem resolution. As we get, uh, as we get sales, uh, we are involved from day one. We bring an extensive network experience with us, diagnostic tools uh, to help uh, a seamless integration into your uh, network infrastructure. Uh, down the road, if you make a change, you want to change IP addresses or you want to introduce a VLAN or, or change your workflow in any way, you know, we're there to help you. We'll, we'll walk hand in hand with you to make those changes and make sure that your press experiences minimal downtime during that, that change. Along with that, uh, we bring extensive color experience. Now, you heard in this presentation, the new HP Brilliant Ink presents a, a good opportunity uh, to uh, enhance color in your production workflow. Uh, we're there to help you make sure that, that color is consistent, job to job, press to press. We'll use uh, industry standard tools to linearize multiple presses in the same shop to ensure that no matter what press you run that, that job on, th the end result is going to be identical. Um, I think that's pretty important for, for your end users. I know that end users get a little touchy about trade dress and, and trademark colors. This helps ensure the accuracy of those in your, in your jobs. I can move on to uh, you know, your workflow. Um, the print engineering team will be engaged with you from, from start to finish. And as part of that, um, we're there to assist during integration, post-processing configuration in the form of barcodes for perf on demand. 
and more importantly, I think, uh, the proper barcodes for proper insertion uh, down, down, down the road in your workflow. So that helps you maximize throughput all the way from start to finish. It reduces lost production time uh, and it minimizes time and effort in you adding new workflows. If we get these things defined up front, um, then you have a template to work with. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, continuing on in, in the theme of, of data analysis and data scrubbing, uh, we have access to a rich set of data that, that comes out of the press. That uh, It's a little bit different than what uh, Steve talked about, but it, it helps the engineering team do a little bit of predictive analysis uh, and potential system issues before they happen. Uh, we will then work with your local uh, service professionals to schedule uh, maintenance, make sure that if we see a potential part that, that is nearing its end of life, we'll order the part in and have it available so you don't have to wait, minimizing your downtime, keeping your efficiency up. It, it is all data driven as part of that maintenance effort and day-to-day and -day operation. We take that data too and we, and we go back to manufacturing and product engineering in a closed loop corrective action process, which, uh, which can result in, in uh, more reliable parts, um, efficiencies for you and, and, and uptime. And the last thing I'd like to touch on, although I could t probably talk about service for a long time, but I wanted to make you aware of, of an advocate program that we have. When we bring on a new client, we assign a dedicated engineer, what, what we call an advocate, and he becomes your, your focal point. Uh, he'll become very familiar with your workflow, almost on a first name basis with your operational staff. And they're there to, uh, to champion for you, uh, partner with you and your operators to monitor equipment and your overall site health. Um, they provide a point of contact for you. If you have a general question, instead of going through the normal service process, you can send them an email or pick up the phone and call them and then, and, and they're there for you. So, uh, I think we have a very well-rounded uh, service offering from uh, the local CSRs and uh, customer service reps, service professionals, backed by uh, our engineering staff. And I think uh, back to you, Kevin Marks. Thank you, Don. So let's summarize uh, to our audience. Uh, we've explored the value today of Inkjet 2.0, which is consideration of all the critical components of the manufacturing process to deliver better business results. It's about using our tools to understand and optimize both each step of the process, but also integrate and tightly integrate across each of those phases. And that's how we deliver better business results. And again, independent if you're an in-plan operation where you're looking to ensure that your client communications are valuable, are precise, uh, are delivered on time, and to work harder than other moves of communication, or ultimately a transaction, ser transaction service bureau, where you need to efficiently pr and uh, productively manage your output. Uh, you'll wanna harness the uh, latest in uh, uh, innovations in automation, ever mindful that in doing so, you create a competitive advantage and grow your business. So that's the presence and the power of inter Inkjet 2.0, and Bluecrest, uh, as we've seen by examples today, can deliver on each phase of that. Now, uh, by my calendar and my watch, we have about two minutes left. I'm delighted with the questions that have been posted to our chat. I know we won't be able to get to them all, but uh, let's get through a couple of them if we could. And I'm gonna continue to use my uh, esteemed uh, panelists to help me uh, uh, answer some of those. And so I wonder if I could ask, um, begin with a question that was posed earlier. Uh, and I'm gonna direct this to Steve Cohort. Steve, a client has asked, uh, or a member of our audience has asked, um, how would I take advantage of investigations of this Inkjet 2.0? Um, you know, what, what tools could, uh, or people or processes could Bluecrest use to engage and uncover some of these uh, values to my business? Can you give us a sense of how uh, the Bluecrest tools, people and process that we can interrogate? Sure, absolutely, Kevin. You know, so we're kind of layered in our approach to um, the client support. Uh, we have, obviously dedicated account managers that are uh, responsible for the day-to-day -day, uh, relationship management with our clients. On top of that, we have a layer of um, production print specialists that are um, there to support you um, and are, 
our new clients or existing clients um, on your journey to uh, Inkjet 2.0. Uh, and they're, again, supported with, uh, you know, production print uh, systems analysts that will um, fulfill a variety of roles. They can analyze uh, your existing workflow. Um, they can analyze your business requirements uh, against, um, you know, features and functions that the printing systems can deliver. Uh, and then, you know, as, as Don touched on, uh, there's a whole support infrastructure that's there to build a, um, in many cases, a, quite a customized uh, uh, service support plan um, that looks at your needs uh, both today and into the future in terms of how we support you. Um, but it really starts with, uh, you need to help us understand your business. Uh, that's where every engagement with a client starts because um, from there we can determine, you know, what's the right fit from a, from a printing platform standpoint, uh, from a workflow standpoint, um, and then all the various, you know, detailed elements that go into um, making that decision for you. Excellent. All right, uh, so uh, in practice, we have uh, had multiple questions come in from our uh, audience today. Uh, as I look at the hour, it is two, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. We ask for one hour of your time. Um, here's my commitment. With the folks who have posted questions, we'll do our best to get back to you. Um, we have the contact information for you for your registration, and we'll do our very best. Um, and as uh, we have uh, taken up the full hour with the content and a couple questions, um, I, I think we can commit to that readily. So on behalf of uh, my co-panelists and specifically Ayush and Jamie and my fellow Bluecrest team members, thank you all for joining today's webinar. Uh, and uh, we are excited as a company to investigate the full power of Inkjet 2.0 and the value and client value of linking print to mail. Thank you for your time and have a successful day. Thanks, everybody.